so we are discussing about the hardware ana hardware requirements so what are the hardware we required so right so what are the operating system so we are discussing about the so memory the especially so the memory is very important memory sizing is very important for the hana so for the new installations that is called the green field green field that is called the new installations so normally new installations means in the one technical term in sap is called the green field green field implementations so for that one so we have the different sizing methods or sap standard method we can use it sap quick sizer online tool we can use it to get the memory cpu and uh, all this and uh, everything so same as like here let's see here the sizing introduction so normally normally if we are we are talking about the memory so why we need memory hana is storing the data in so main memory that's why here to uh, main memory means whatever the normally other database store the data into the disk storage whatever the data is there in, same data will be located in the ram memory so that's the reason while doing the memory sizing so be carefully we have to perform it right so why because so memory sizing depend upon the data footprint data footprint footprint means so data size size how much data estimation data right and also cpu cpu also we required if you have the more cpus are available then so system can perform the parallel processing capability which means so multitasking it can be performed with the multitasking and also io size disk io size disk io size means so sufficient input io means input io means output input output so the throughput also data throughput also very important for the disk so you have the memory correctly configured cpu correctly configured but disk is lower which means you will get the slow performance so we had a yesterday we have discussed about the different sizing approaches right different sizing approaches we have discussed normally data it's loading into the the main memory that is called the table data all the data so we have discussed about the different sizing methods we have discussed for green field brown field and also recently one more field like called blue blue field sizing that is a reimplementation of the existing system suppose if you don't perform correct sizing on the implementation then you have to go for the blue field sizing right so green field we are discussing about the green field green field means is the new implementations so here we have the tools tools are there tools means sap quick sizer tool t set sizing method and some calculation formulas and expert sizing right those are the comes under the picture for the performing the hardware sizing so green field large companies and throughputs like that so we can perform it expert sizing so all these sizing we can perform brown field means migrations when you are migrating to the different so that is also it's a very simple for migrations to perform the there is some scripts db scripts sap level reports we can use it or sap quick sizer tool also we can use it for migration systems so which are migrating to the hana s4 hana systems so these are also for the blue field is for the blue field is for the reimplementation suppose in the during the implementation time we have not correctly performed the sizing so that time we can go for the so maybe again we can do for the reimplementation reimplementation of the so sizing and so everything here so normally it's not like only basic team to has to perform the sizing it's like joint responsibility of the joint responsibility of the all the stakeholders so let me zoom it so see here so sizing is is not one person it's a joint responsibility of the sap and customer hardware vendor service providers all these so it's not like one person we can directly go ahead and take the 1 gb ram something like 1 terabyte ram so everyone all the stakeholders like all the persons so vendors should contribute this one to perform the to get the sizing here to get the sizing here so the recommendations of the sizing is cpu 
memory disk space all these are the main three to find out the three we have to do the lot of ground work how much memory we require to find out this one we have to do the lot of ground work and we have to check with our hardware vendors and also sap customers and service providers all these things we have to check with them right so suppose <clears throat> what happens if you don't perform correct sizing so incomplete input data then so there is a hardware crash coding special so something we may get the special related issues we may get here in the system we may get the different different issues in the system so that's why so sizing is very important sizing is very important for the so every ana system so every ana system sizing is very important so what are the tools normally we know our official sap standard tool is called the to quick sizer tool quick sizer tool using this quick sizer tool we can perform the we can perform the sizing so not only quick sizer tool we have other sizing tools also available other sizing tools also available what are those tools like standard methods like uh, initial calculation like guessing you can take the 512 gb ram 200 gb ram or 1 terabyte ram guessing like initial methods so you are not sure just you are guessing how much data flow and everything you are not sure that's why you are saying that 512 gb ram you can take it for the so for your customer so one more is the t sheet sizing that we know yesterday we discussed about the t sheet sizing method second one is the formulas method formulas so formula there is a formulas based method that is also but here the formulas based method is a different approach no one is using maybe they are using the either so t sheet sizing method or quick sizer tool quick sizer tool see very simple quick sizer tool so using the quick sizer tool is the simple as said we have seen we have to create the project there then there we need to fill the all the details we have to fill it then after that we will get the what are the or we will get the recommendations we will get the recommendations from them see here calculate the sizing so all these things so quick sizer tool we have to fill it then we will get the all the details from the systems so these are the <coughs> things yesterday we have just discussed we have discussed briefly we discussed about the so all these things so quick sizer tool sizing gelling expert sizing so th these are all the things we discussed so don't worry about more time on the sizing why because you may get or we may not get the uh, chance to for your experience we may not get the chance to work on the sizing but so this document i already shared you so regarding this one quick sizer tool so how to fill the details and what details we have to fill it all the details i, I have already shared this thing you can just go through once again so the bottom line is we will get the how much cpus how many rams so how much ram size all these things we may get so that is the the bottom line of the so the sizing approach okay so let's continue with our our topic so regarding the hardware recommendations hardware so hardware recommendations hardware recommendations just continue this one hardware recommendations so hardware this is the actual topic you may get from interview point of time or people may ask you questions so what is the operating system you required for the for the hana database and also how much memory you required and how much cpus you required and also disk which is called the how much storage so storage or file systems how much file systems you required so what are the file systems you required for this one so you may get so you have you have to get we will get the so we and also network how much network bandwidth we required so all these things we should calculate and also we should required here so hardware vendors so what are the hardware vendors we know hardware vendors hardware vendors means intel so intel hp so pujistu so dell inspiran those 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 companies will provide the hardware vendors hardware so they will provide the hardware to us right lenovo the they will provide the hardware to us hardware means ram cpu and we everything to us right so for the especially for the hana database 
so what is the operating system what operating system we required for the ana database so, so here it will work only on the linux operating system linux operating systems so not the so windows not the solaris is something like that so hana can be installed only on the linux operating system that to certified hardware vendors only certified hardware vendors only so we can check in the online so who are the certified vendors for the so normal almost all uh, top profile vendors are the certified for the hp so sorry uh, vendors for the sap they can use the sap softwares like right? so os so linux linux operating system <coughs> linux means here we can use either the susi linux or rhcl rhcl also red hat linux both are the linux flavors only either the susi linux or red hat linux you can use it for the your hana database for the new implementations right so these are the things we can use it suppose if i talk about the versions so susi linux means suppose windows means what is the version of the windows i have to use it either the windows 10 or windows 11 or windows 7 windows 8 like that you may ask some questions right if i ask you told you so same as like in the susi linux also some versions we have like the 10 11 how we have in the windows level in the linux also we have the operate we have the so versions we have the concept that is we have the concept so for susi linux that is called the sles susi linux enterprise server that we will call it as the sles so okay susi linux the current version is the 15 sp04 okay 15 sp04 is the current susi linux version so then before that we have the sp03 sp02 then sp01 then before that sles 12 we have 12 also they have sp04 sp03 then sp02 then sp01 so these are the sp means support pack level support pack level support pack level sp means support pack level support pack level so we have so sp 0 4 3 2 something like that so they have released into the market right so that is the version this is the latest versions if anyone asks you what is the latest version means up to here you can tell the questions answer right up to here you can tell the answers okay so support pack so so support pack right so sp support pack level 040203 that is the support pack levels okay so that is the in sap also we have the sap sp sps those levels are there right yeah so so sles 15 sp 0403 0 2 0 1 in the 15 we have these versions in the 12 we have the these versions but 12 is not supporting that maintenance contract is over end of the maintenance life is over so almost all all customers they are using the so these versions they are using right so regarding that rhcl red hat linux red hat linux enterprise server the red hat linux so we have so i think uh, 10 i guess 10 or 11 is there the rhcl 10 so but rhcl 10 is the certified version before that rhcl 10 then rhcl 9 rhcl 8 rhcl 7 up to here we have the versions we have the versions in the systems rhcl 10 so these are the certified version rhcl 11 also there but it's not certified by sap so this os version up to here so these versions you can use it up to these versions you can use it for the to install the HANA database, right? HANA database. So regarding the memory, memory means RAM. How much RAM we can take it means that's yesterday we discussed it. The T-shirt sizing methods are pick sizer tool. So either the T-shirt sizing, T-shirt sizing or so pick sizer tool or pick sizer tool method, pick sizer tool method we can pick sizer tool we can use it either the so memory we can use it for t-shirt sizing or pick sizer tool method we can use it for the so for the this one 
so based upon the memory size you will get the cpus so each cpu each cpu will handle the 14 gb of main memory main memory each cpu will handle the 14 gb of main memory so suppose yes as for the calculation you got the you required the 512 gb ram for the your for your 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 hana database for development hana server you required the 512 gb hana database so then how much is how many rams we required so maybe so that you can calculate it 512 by 14 how many you will get that many rams we require without many cpus we required right what about the file systems this is a very important concept what about the file systems here so regarding with respect to the file systems with respect to the file systems sap recommended to have so separate mount point separate file systems suppose like how in the windows we have c drive d drive e drive f drive we have separate mount points so here also we have separate here also sap saying that sap saying that go with the separate mount points for the separate points for the so this one a uh, separate mount points for the this file system separate mount points for the this file systems as well so in this case so just uh, so what are the file systems here separately you required so root right root file system in the windows the main folder we will call it as the root file system then we have slash esr sap then we have slash hana data then one more one more separate mount point for the slash hana log then one more mount point is required for the slash hana shared so these are the five mount points for hana related mount points five mount points is required for the five mount points are required for the this one five mount points are required for the this ana database these are the ana related file systems are required here so what about the sizing what about the size for each root system suppose c drive how much we will give suppose 100 gb d drive 200 gb 300 gb how we will give in a windows same as like here in the disk in the file system level so we have to provide the some standard recommendations from sap so root we have to take it for the 10 gb minimum 10 gb for the root file system and usr sap is for the 50 gb file systems so slash na data 3 into ram size for the so slash na data log is for the so max 512 gb we have to give it or 1 by 1 by 2 into ram size we have to give it for the slash na log so slash na shade is 1 into ram size we have to give for the this one so these are the sizing recommendations file system sizing recommendations from the sap sizing recommendations from the hsb so you have to not only separate mount points each mount point it should be each mount point it should be separate so space separate mount point separate space is required here each mount point you have separate space is required here each mount point you required the separate space is required here each mount point you required the separate space is required here so that's why we should have so root 10 gb this is called the root root file system okay sizing recommendation so yes sir sap 50 gb slash na data 3 into ram size and the log and data so shared memory shared file system this much up 3 into ram size means so 3 into 512 gb how much we will get so that much of so that much of space that much of space we required it to operating system level that much of space we required for the operating system level that much of space is required for the operating system level okay that much of space we required for the operating system level so and also 1 into ram size suppose for the log folder so if you for so ram size is the 512 gb maybe half 1 by 2 means if you can take the 256 gb you will you have to take give the space for the log folder or so max 512 gb you have to take for the so log folder 
so log folder and shade slash and shade is one into ram size so these are the file systems mandatory file systems for the hana so maybe if anyone asking you questions means they will you ask you questions on the what are the file systems and their recommended size so you have to answer this one like this so apart from this you have the os level file system that is common for every operating systems like slash var slash var and slash temp slash var slash temp and slash log folder so and slash swap so these are the so recommend uh, these are the mandatory slash home so these are the separate uh, os level these are the os level so common common file common common file systems os level common file systems so these are the common so so but sap related hana related these are the mandatory you required mandatory you required to install the mandatory you required to install the hana database mandatory things are required to install the hana database in your so company right so these are the things you required okay so any questions on this part so very very important that's why i am asking yeah, here Ravi, uh, yes yeah it's a slash to it's a minimum 10 gp maximum it's you like can go a, for anything so if you have the more money you have the more space is there you can go for more but sap recommending is a minimum minimum, minimum 10 gb you required so if you want to go for the 100 gb that is fine right that is your wish but okay. minimum should be required okay. the 10 gb suppose if you maintain the 5 gb then after after two months three months you will get the issues root volume file system full issues and space everything Deca, right. yeah space yeah. issues you may get so to avoid this one sap recommended to have the 10 gb usr sap 50 gb slash in our data and the log folders are the very very important folders database level very very important mm -hmm. folders that's why we have to give this much of all the data will store into the the slash in our data one in the ram and one more one more place is called the here slash in our data here also data will be stored here and the slash in our shared here sorry sorry disconnected yeah so this much of so space file systems are very important common interview question interview point of time they may ask you common interview question they won't ask you questions on the this one memory and cpus as well but they may ask you questions on the file systems why because they knows who will do the sizing and everything they knows so that's why what are the file systems we required for the hana database do you know the space recommendations and everything so like that we have to answer it like administrator in windows right exactly so root directory in the linux is like and the administrator in those root user root directory both are there so root user is like the administrator user same in windows we have the administrator user it is a top user so by windows level in the linux also we have the root directory means it's a main directory it kind of so under this directory only you have the all the file systems everything will come under this root only you have the, suppose under the c directory under the c you have all the file systems and everything same as like here also you have the all the file systems and everything will come comes into the picture okay okay slash so root is c right it's a c yeah it kind of c under the c, c. we have the users program files okay. and under the c sub we folders. have the yeah, subfolders kind of subfolders so this all and, are the and, uh, yeah ravi one second sorry uh, it's a uh, file type of ext2 or ext3 uh, this is of linux linux so it's a ext4 ext4 so because ext4. in windows we have ntfs and fat system right so that's a yes. yeah 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 ntfs and fat fs but uh, in a linux level it should be uh, yeah ext4 ext4 i guess ext4 lvm not lvm sorry ext4 file systems we have to choose it here ext4 and uh, xfs for the red hat uh, for asus linux xfs xfs for the so red hat linux and uh, for uh, sorry asus linux we have the xfs that is the file system type we have to choose it for the red hat linux so ext 
ext3 or 4 is there ext4 i guess ext4 we have to choose it okay so linux level will will verify so why because we will get the access we will verify the linux level why exact linux level we will verify everything here so why because today i will show you how to log into the linux level the file system mount points everything we will see in the here we will see everything here so we will get everything from here that's right so that's the thing so one more question slash and are different file system yes what is the difference between them if the allocated memory file system we can increase it further yes that we can increase it further yes if the log slash and are log log both are different file systems if yes what is the difference slash and all this log is for the operating system will generate the log files here operating system related logs you can see here slash ana log is for the so ana related file systems ana also your db also will generate the logs here transaction logs here those logs will will stored here then operating system also will generate the logs here logs means to troubleshooting purpose so those logs you can see here that is the difference okay so that is the thing here apart from that apart from that what we have apart from that sorry and network so network so it's common network so sap recommended 1 gigabytes 1 gbps per second minimum 1 gbps per second minimum 1 gb we have the network bandwidth right 512 gb mbps 611 gbps like that so for hana sap recommended network is 1 gigabytes per second 1 gb 1 gbps per second minimum 1 gbps per second if you have the more then that is well enough but minimum we should maintain the 1 gbps but less also enough for the practice for non production systems that is enough so there is no restrictions we can use it but recommendation is to have the 1 gbps per second so but these are the compulsory we need to maintain it so compulsory we have to maintain separate file systems then only it will give the life to us otherwise so suppose i don't want to maintain i have only root under the root i have will install everything under the root means you can install it but only thing is i o issue some slowness you may get yeah, actually slowness you may get so then again if you go sap you told that hana is the one of the fastest database but but my database is very slow now so can you tell me the reasons if you ask them they will tell like okay what i mentioned what are the my proposed my recommendations if you want to use the hana my recommendations are these are the my recommendations are you followed this recommendations no then follow the recommendations then experience the ana size ana speed that is the one common word we will get right so don't you have to follow the recommendation same like so when your phone is under warranty you have some conditions apply so if you miss if you if you broke one condition then they will they will point that condition then you are, you are not meet that condition We are not going to replace the new phone for you. Simple, simple concept. Okay, this one. So and the network. Now we know network are vendors. Are everybody knows what are the hardware vendors and everything. So these are the hardware hardware recommendations. So recommendations from the SAP. Why? Because initially we are starting. Then we are going to install the HANA database. What should is what is our OS? So what is what are the our softwares we required here? so next one is the software recommend recommend the software requirements so it's simple software requirements are for the database we are installing ana db we need and also ana client we required for the client for communication between the sap and the database sap means applications and the database we required the client then ana db ana client we required then ana add ons if required these are the optional so if you required the add ons you can add the instances and plugins so plugin additional functionalities so if you want to use this one you can but mandatory things are the this one software requirements are the mandatory things are the these are the mandatory so things we have to use it here right these are the software 
request what about the host agent the host agent yeah host agent anyhow when you are installing the hana db host agent will be automatically installed you no need to separately install it you will see okay. when you are doing the installation host agent also will be installed so you no need to separately okay. download the package that's why i am not i explained about that one it will be installed automatically okay. so so yeah but mandatory things hana db client even client also not required when you are installing the stand alone hana database client also not required but if you want to connect to hana database from any application definitely client is required to communicate to the hana database right so definitely client is required through client only applications will talk to the hana database application will push the data to hana database to store the data so definitely so these are the required so but when you are doing the hana installation host agent will be installed automatically if not it not exist if host agent is not exist automatically already it will install the host agent as part of the hana db only it will install it you no need to separately install it right so these are the so software requirements software means we are in, we are discussing about the hana what we required hana db software sir mari what are the version of the hana db we have to discuss now let's discuss about the hana versions so what we have currently in the market right so currently we have as you initially in 2010 they have started with the hana 1.0 it kind of robo you can just take the difference between the so robo 1.0 robo 2.0 movie right the same concept hana versions also hana 1.0 we have initial version so initial version under that we have the sps01 right then after that so they have hana versions then hana sps02 you know why they will change the versions normally every product they will change the versions why because some bugs in some bug fixes new enhancements in the systems so that's why they will change the things they will change the version they will release the new version in the new versions in the so new versions they will they will release the new version and they will they will release in the so in hana their revision strategy is once a year yearly once they will release the new sp the revision that is a revision strategy hana revision strategy so once a year they will release the revision strategy so these are the hana versions in the hana 1.0 hana versions in the hana 1.0 so sir why 1.0 do we have 2.0 as well yes we have 2.0 also in the market we have 2.0 in the market as well so what are those 2.0 here so sir why we have the same time i as i told you right you can remember the robo 1.0 2.0 same as like here so we have hana 2.0 also available here in the market then after that okay so yeah in the 2.0 we have sp01 then we have hana so 2.0 sp versions we are discussing about the versions history those things you required so that's why i am discussing about the versions and ana sps03 ana 2.0 sps0 ana 2.0 sps05 then ana 2.0 we have sps06 ana 2.0 sps07 right so these are the versions we have in the market this is the latest version in the month of april in the month of april they have released it 2023 so this is they have released in the 2022 2021 as i told you right once a year once a year so we have once a year once a year yearly once they will release the this patch a support tax and so they will release the new versions once a year they will release the all these things and everything here right so these are the versions actually so recently only they have released it previously 
we have so versions like previously we have the versions like so 06 05 and 07 so 04 3 2 1 so they have released it so ana 2.1.0 2.0 so 1.0 difference is there 2.0 difference is there so now i would like to explain the differences so just make sure so ana 2.0 released in so maybe if you calculate the 2022 1 2020 and uh, 2019 18 17 so in between 16 17 so they have released the 2.2.0 in between so 2.0 so they have released it so 2.0 they have so released it okay so 20 16 or 17 so they have released it you can calculate it so otherwise i will provide you okay so yeah so regarding the the differences so what is mean by 1.0 and 2.0 why they have named it so 1.0 concept is called the when you install the hana database normally when you install the 1.0 then you will get the so if between so 1.0 and 2.0 so difference between 1.0 and 2.0 so when you install the hana 1.0 you will get the single database or if you install the one database you will get only one database like what is the main here so this is your operating system in this operating system if you install the one database you will get only one database yeah that's true that's true right if you install the one database you will get the one database only then what is the main i am main advantage here so what is the thing here right so what is the thing here so hdb if you install the one hana database one os and the, on top of os if you install the hana database one database will be created like suppose like in 150 square yards if you build the one house that is only one house will be we can build it so but when it comes to the hana 2.0 hana 2.0 suppose in the same in the same operating system if you build the 2.0 here you will get the two databases two database you will get by default by default two databases you will get so this is stand alone db this is the two database you will get one is the system db and second one is the tenant db system db and tenant db tenant db you will get so here if you install the one database only one database you will get that is the stand alone db on top of this this is the database you can install the sap application or whatever you want you can install it so that's not a problem but when you install the hana database 2.0 hana 2.0 here you will get the hana 2.0 here you will get the two databases one is the system db second one is the tenant db you will get sir why two then what is the difference between the system db tenant db that is a different concept again okay i will explain that one also so here when you install the hana database one database this is the independent house concept right this is the apartment house concept apartment concept means so apartment means we have the g plus 1 g plus 2 means minimum g plus 1 should be required right apartment means minimum g plus 1 same as like here also so hana 2.0 means so when you install the 2.0 so ground floor system db and first floor tenant db will be created system db and tenant db will be created here system db and tenant db will be created here in the so in the here so that's the reason of that is the so advantage of the here why because we, you no need again space again if you want to build the one more database on top of tenant database you can build the one more tenant database one more tenant database one more db one more db up to 19 databases you can build it here one system one host 19 dbs you can build it 19 dbs so by default you will get the one system db one tenant db apart from that by default one you will get the up to 19 19 databases you can install on 
one host but here we cannot install here so which means in 12.0 it kind of apartment concept which means system db and tenant db multiple tenant dbs we can install on one sid one host we can install it right that is the concept of the 2.0 here what are the advantages and disadvantages advantages means independent house in 150 square hertz if you build the one house only one family can stay here and one family can use the same motor same electricity same thing same they can use it that is the thing here right only small family and the small things so nothing will impact on this one but in the 2.0 in the same 150 square yards we build the apartment here not only one family so you can by default g plus one will be created by default you won't get the 19 databases but default you will get the g plus one means one system db one tenant db you will get when you install the hana 2.0 database software so here in other you can use like all the tenants you can use the same space they can use it same bore same water same electricity means here if i talk about the hana side here all the databases will use the same memory same ram same disk storage same memory same network same operating system will use the same everything they will use same if something goes wrong with the network or memory all the databases will be crashed then applications will be disconnected why so here one down only one database will be down so others will work right so here but here cost wise it's more but here cost wise it's very less why because in one operating system you are building the more number of tenant databases right tenant means tenants will stay here the main tenants here all applications will connect to the tenant databases only tenant database only so that's a applications means sap applications are third party applications but hana 1.0 performance wise hana 1.0 is very 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 good. yeah yes true you are correct why because single database single resources everything is single so small family so they can stay in the same they can use the entire space one family everything but here if you install the multiple all will use the same memory all will use the same network all will use this one and performance wise also so it will be degraded right so like if you just that, that's why i just can i am just to just relate the concept with your independent house and apartment house apartment then you will get the more idea about this one so yes right you are true navin yeah so input out in the io also very good in the 1.0 the only thing is if you want to install the another sid so another sap sorry another if you want to install the another sap database one more database you need to install one more database then one more sid you have to install it but here just you no need to do the installation just you can create the tenant db just one command you can create the tenant db you can map the your sap applications to map the sap application to here map the sap application to here map the sap applications to the your tenant databases so that is the concept of the the difference between the 1.0 and 2.0 okay so that is the the difference between the 1.0 and 2.0 concept here okay so yeah so any questions from anyone ravi there will be only system db only one right system db is only one yeah 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 ground floor is like only one ground floor is only one right when you go to the apartment only ground floor is one but first floor okay. second floor third floor floors are more but ground okay. base is one yeah base is only one which means where system db is only one tenants are more okay yeah got it but, yeah but so when you install the hana 1.0 so sir your family so when we go to the home home ceremony then family will stay inside of the home so as you told please relate this concept to the your uh, home concept then inside of home like apartment and independent house concept in the apartment or independent house the family members are staying inside of that one right family members will stay inside of the home same as like here also 
family members and also we have the one family there are some family members are there so so yes so in the in the inside of the house how we are doing the our responsibility father mother so sales so brothers sisters how we are doing the our responsibility in the database itself we have the one family so how we are staying in the air same also in the database level they are the few family members they are lying they are staying in they are staying in in the database sir can you know the names of the family members in the hana database yes you can you can you can say in the same same family members they can stay here the same family members they can also stay in the in the in the and the apartment concept as well so what are those family members okay so let let me give you information here why because when you install the hana 1.0 here seven hana core process will stay in the created core process will be created one is the index server index server so name server so compile server pre processor pre processor right access engine then web dispatcher then what next then daemon so these are the seven process seven family members will stay in one hana database sir so what about the 2.0 2.0 also same process same family can stay in the independent house same family can also be stay in the apartment also right there is no changes right so same concept but here in the hana 1.0 when you install the hana 1.0 the seven family members commonly it will be created by default but here in the seven family members so in the 1.0 all the seven will be in the 1.0 when you create the hana 2.0 so the index server access engine will be in the tenant database more more to come on the tomorrow's class i will discuss but remaining process will be in the system database system db system db more remaining process all will be in the system db remaining five will be in the system db so when you install the one more tenant database then you will get the index server and access engine index server access engine so here the resource wise also the process wise also here we are reducing each tenant database we won't get the seven databases here so here ana 1.0 seven process seven family members they can stay here that's it but here we have the system db and tenant db concept right so what is mean by system db here what are the process will stay in the system db system db here we have five process can stay in the system db remaining two stay in the tenant db so remaining two in the system db remaining two in the tenant db remaining two in the each tenant database what two means index server and access engine ix maybe you can call it as the xi so index server access engine will be stay here sir but what is the advantage if we talk about the family what is your father role what is your mother role what is your son role we have the roles right what they will do father is the main person in the house then he will do the all the loading burdens craft everything he will do we know what is mean by father what is his work right same has like here also each process there is the responsibility so what is their responsibility those things we will discuss right so access engine is the optional yeah it's not optional by default it will create it if you don't want after the creation we can remove in our seven family members we have the father mother if you don't want to that person in your home you have so then you can so you can ask them to vacate the house right so then same is here also so if you don't want this uh, this person in your home then your hana database you can disable this one but this is very important it's not optional it's a mandatory thing is required here access engine it's a mandatory thing access engine why because there is a responsibility if you don't want to that functionality in the hana database you no need this person if you want that functionality you need this person so normally access engine what it will do it will handle the all the http http request browser based request we are logging to the system and we are pulling the data through http http urls right so this one will handle the http request 
no i don't want to http based uh, request to handle it here i don't want to this mechanism so um, just i will log into the normal method means you don't want to this process step simple process. you can disable it not a problem if you want to more you can increase the more process we have a statistic server access access engines we have other engines also access advanced we have the as well so we have the cockpit cockpit is the not service cockpit is the tool to monitor the hana database and hana studio you will get everything don't worry okay you will get everything yeah these are the seven core process for now you can remember the all these seven core process what are these seven core process so tomorrow when we start the hana installations hana downloading and hana installation you will come to know this process will be created then we will discuss one by one what are this process and everything what is the exact exact role of this process okay any any questions from anyone here till uh, ravi you explained 1.0 or 2.0 i'm to say installation tomorrow we will do 2.0 2.0 we will do after the 2.0 classes few days completed then we will install the 1.0 then we will talk about the how to convert 1.0 to 2.0 so few customers are not still there in the 1.0 they want to convert to the 2.0 what are the things we have to take care we will discuss those two as well one day wasted also not a problem for me but i want main aim is to so give the knowledge on the how to convert 1.0 to 2.0 we will discuss on the same okay